Yo, what's up? How's everybody doing? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So today, y'all are joining me for an awesome show. Happy 4th of July weekend, everybody. Happy 4th of July day. Happy 4th of July. So I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, I'm on Facebook Live. I'm also on TikTok. TikTok's awesome, man. Y'all need to get a TikTok. Especially you can see all my videos and all the food that, I'll be ma- that I'm making all the time. But uh, hopefully you can see me right. Anyway, uh, today, man, today I got a good show for y'all today, guys. Today we are talking about this right here. Let me see. Uh, Mindset on keto. Mindset on keto. It's very important you have your mindset on keto. Very, very important. Because if you don't have your mindset on keto, you'll get sick, you'll get aggravated, you'll get disgusted by some of the food that you're going to be eating because you you don't have your mindset. Now, the thing about mindset, it's a little bit different from having a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. So a fixed mindset is something that you're like, well, you know what? I, I'm going to try it and, oh, it's it's okay. And, uh, you know what? I, I'll try it. And you, you'll get more frustrated and you'll get more because you're trying to fix your mindset, right? But a growth mindset is different because a growth mindset means that you really want to grow from it. So meaning like if if you try something and you fail to it, well, you're trying to grow from it. So you're going to say, you know what? I failed, but I'm going to get back up and I'm going to do exactly this now. I'm going to actually do this when a fixed mindset is different. A fixed mindset, you're just trying to fix yourself to be able to accomplish this and be able to, to do the keto lifestyle, which will be backfiring on you. It won't work, right? So a growth mindset, it's always better to have a mindset where you're going to grow from it. And uh, what I mean by that is, Like in the very beginning, when I started doing the keto lifestyle, I was always talking about, you know, what I I could do this and I can do that. And then I would just stop there. Right. I'm like, you know, I'm going to stop there. I'm doing exactly what they're telling me and I'm still not dropping weight or I'm doing exactly what they're telling me. And I'm still not doing this. I'm still not accomplishing nothing. But when I started having a growth mindset, it was different. And now look. I grew to being a keto coach. I grew to having my own bakery online, which is right there, sugarsadevil.net, my own YouTube channel. And and I got over, thanks to y'all, I got over 10,000 followers now on my TikTok. And man, it's just so awesome. But that was because I had to grow from it. I had to grow. My My first take was fixed mindset. And, I, you know, I no longer have a fixed mindset. I have a growth mindset. So I'm going to grow from this every chance and every day, every minute, every second I get. I'm going to go for it. And, and I'm going to grow from it and grow from it and keep on growing from it. So uh, another thing that, that grows from is my amazing uh, tea. My, my tea that I designed that's out thanks to my partner, Trishna Teas. Uh, trishnatea.com you could pick up the tea i made it for type 2 diabetics i made it for people that had high blood pressure i made it for people um so much i made it just for the inflammation um to give people energy because it got the ginseng in it i made it to um help a lot of people with their weight so it helps you lose weight why because it's a green tea and then i got another tea out and that's berry keto berry keto man and y'all got to go check that out man so um, if y'all not on my, my page right now, please come on my page. Y'all could, um, y'all could just assign yourself on my page. I think you got to hit something or something. Then I can see y'all, y'all, y'all messages over here. Cause I can't see y'all messages right now. I do see y'all right here on, on uh, YouTube watching YouTube. I mean, not YouTube. Um, this will be going to YouTube, but watching right here. So appreciate all you guys, man. Thank y'all. Let me see what I got over here. What's going on over here? All right, so we are, are we on here? So we over here. Let me see. I don't know what I did. Okay, so this turn, I don't know why it's just turned off. Hold on, give me a second. Let's go back to this right here.
Okay, so we're live back on, on TikTok. I don't know what happened, guys. I don't know what happened. But so they say, is keto for everybody? That's like the number one question. Is keto for everybody? Now, I, I, I would say this. So if you're fit and, and you got a nice body and, 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 and this, but yet you still got a health problem, like you still have diabetes or you still have um, – digestive problems are you still getting a heartburn are you still getting you're having some kind of complications then yes keto is good for you see a lot of people think they can go to the gym and they can burn this off and you can't burn this off there's no way you could burn this off yeah you're gonna look okay from the outside but you're never gonna take care of your inside that's just it you're never gonna take care of your inside so if you ask me free do you think keto is good for everybody i say yes yeah I, I honestly think it's good for everybody now, everybody's going to take it differently, you know, like if somebody's got health problems, then they'll take it more, they'll, maybe they'll, they'll go less net carbs, you know, they'll take less in sugar in. Honestly, I think no one should take in sugar. Sugar's dangerous. Sugar's so bad, you know, it, it's just not good for you. It's not good for you at all. So the thing is, guys, today we are talking about mindset on keto. Now, there's been times where I coach some people and they don't follow through. And th these are the people that I have on the phone sometimes. They're like, man, free, I'm doing exactly what you're telling me. And, and I'm, I don't understand, you know, why it's not working for me. And you know what? I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting frustrated. But it's because they're just trying to fix themselves. They're not trying to grow from themselves. You got to want to grow. If your growth is everything, your growth is everything in finances, your growth is everything in, in making money, you know, yearly, you're making your income, uh, opening your businesses, taking care of your family. Your growth is everything in your family and everything. It's just everything, right? Growth is everything. So that's what they got to do. They got to grow from it. They got to grow from the fact you got people saying, well, you know what? I can't eat vegetables. I don't like vegetables. Well, you know what? You got to grow from not wanting to eat vegetables. You, vegetables vegetables going to help you grow. You know, you grow, you know, on keto. You have to eat vegetables. They say, well, free. Uh, last time I asked somebody, oh, my God, I was showing them spinach. They go, oh, my God, I, I can you eat? Can we eat something else besides spinach? That's just right there. You got a fixed mindset. You got a fixed mindset. You're not even giving your chance to eat your spinach. You can make it some other, you don't have to make it dry. You don't have to do it another way. Figure out a way to make it, put some coconut milk, figure out a way to make it taste good. Right. And that's all growth guys. That's all growth, man. I appreciate all y'all being on here, man. I, you know, hit the notification button. I can see y'all on here and stuff like that. So let me give some shout outs, man. Shout out to Ayat. Shout out to Veronica, Yesenia, Mike, uh, uh, Augustine. Shout out to DJ Augie, man. Shout out to Oh, another awesome DJ, man. Shout out to Sack, man. Shout out to all y'all, man. Appreciate it. Shout out to Wanda. Appreciate all y'all guys, man. Let me see. Let me see what's going on over here. I don't know why my... Um... I'm not sure why why I'm not able to go live. I'm not sure why I'm not able to go live over here, but it's not even going to go live. But anyway, so the thing is, who who's trying the keto lifestyle? I'm going to tell you something. So this guy, Justin, reached out to me on Instagram and he found me on TikTok and um, tick, I got on TikTok to help more people, to help a lot of more people to show them food and everything, man. And TikTok is really awesome, really, really awesome. And you get exactly what you want to get out of it. And again, I didn't get on TikTok with a fixed mindset. I got on TikTok with a growth mindset. You know, here I am sitting over 10,000 followers on TikTok. I got people that are going from TikTok to my YouTube. So you can all imagine what it's doing over there. And it's just helping people. It's just helping people in general. So what I'm getting at is Justin. Justin came to me and, and he was diabetic. And um, he still says he's diabetic, but pretty soon he won't be diabetic no longer. Well, his, his A1C, his, his A1C, like that, it was high. And um, his diabetes was high, right? Today, today he posted up something on, on Facebook and he's so happy because his numbers are not there no more. You know, his numbers not there no more. And he's he's doing awesome. You know, he's doing awesome. And uh, so this works, man. The keto lifestyle works. And that's all he's been doing is a keto lifestyle. You know, in the very beginning, he told me, say, free, what, sh what should I do? Should I 
Should I do the keto lifestyle? Uh, so I said, well, you know what? Because people want to do everything. So people want a keto lifestyle. They want to do the intimate fasting. And, and that's okay. But a lot of times if you start bum rushing yourself with so many things to do, you're not going to complete none of them. So what you want to do, the thing is you need fat to lose weight, right? You got to bite into the butter. That's what I do. I bite into the butter. And, and, and it's crazy, but I bite into the butter when my fast is over or um, – you know, I, I'm eating coconut milk. I mean, y'all see how I cook. You know, I cook with olive oil. That's, that's one thing that y'all can do right now is get that all that nasty oil out your house because that nasty oil is going to clog you up and mess you up and, and it's going to do so much damage to you. So, you know what? But check this out. You could cook with lard. You could cook with manteca. You know, that's not going to hurt you. You know, think about it. Back in the years, back in the 70s and 80s, that's how my mom cooked with, you know, and we never had that many health problems. Now you got all this granola, uh, granola and all that other stuff. And it's terrible. It's terrible for you. So right now, I, get it out your house. Get it out your house. You know, start eating real butter. Eat the real butter, you know. And that's going to help out a lot. You know, stop thinking that you need all these carbs. I show people every day how to make a... Um, the rice, the, the Mexican, you know, the, the, the cauliflower rice, you know, I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all how to make a shrimp fried rice. You know, today we got 4th of July. Some people out there are going to be saying, man, you know what? I need to have potato salad. I need to have this. I need to have the rice. I need to, you know what? Maybe you do, but maybe you don't. Maybe all you have to do is change it up. You know, all you have to do is change it up. So don't, don't be like, well, I need to have it when you really don't. When you really don't, because you can make it different. I made a, the other day I made a potato salad. It was not potatoes. I made that out of, uh, let me see if I can remember what I made it out of. It was them little red things. What are those little red things called? Um, oh, man, I can't think of it to save my life. But I made it just like I would make potato salad. It was probably like about a few months ago. Radishes. I made potato salad out of radishes radishes and it was good it was good my wife was like man babe this is really good you know really good and the thing is sometimes people again they think that they don't want to try it because they're not used to it right away you're you're, you're gonna tell you your mind's gonna tell you you know what Ugh, this is gross i can't eat this this is nasty this is not natural potato salad but guess what you can you can it's not what you put into your system your mind controls everything. Your mind controls everything. People think that, man, you know what? I, I can't eat that. That's so gross. That's so gross. Why not? Have you gave yourself a chance to eat it? You know, maybe you couldn't eat it back then, but once you start doing the keto lifestyle and changing how you eat and everything, guess what? You're going to be able to eat it. I, I like to eat Brussels sprouts like if they're popcorn, you know, and, and stuff like that. So there's no reason why you cannot do it. You could do it. You know, but let me try to go back on here again. Let me try to go back on here again. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video, Jay. <laughs> you hear what he said? Oh, man, this thing ain't letting me. So for some reason, this is not this is not going live right now. Ain't this something? I don't know why it's not letting me go live. Let me see. So I'm not sure why it's not letting me go live over here on TikTok. It's not doing it. I don't know why. So anyway, man, my kids over there talking, they being loud. They're being really, really loud. Um, they're looking for their mom. Speaking of food, they're hungry. You know, I don't I don't eat until actually I could eat right now if I want. My my fast is over already. But guys, a lot of people, man, I keep on seeing a lot of people get sick. A lot of people are getting sick, especially right now with the coronavirus. Everybody's getting sick and stuff like that. And um, one thing you can do is build your immune system, build your immune system. How do you do that, man? How do you do that? 
You grow, grow, grow from it. You know, I, I told people, man, take the apple cider vinegar. I've been telling this. I've been telling them this for years. Take the apple cider vinegar. Take this. Take it like this. Take it like that. And some are barely taking it. Some are realizing, man, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad, you know. Guys, the reason why I do these shows, because I want to help you. That's the reason why. That's the reason why, because I want to help you, because I've been there. I have been there. I have been overweight. I have had so many problems. I couldn't even begin to tell you all the problems I had. I, the last thing I was was type 2 diabetic, you know. I've had uh, high blood pressure for a few years, uh, maybe more than a few years. I just didn't want to take the pills. You know, I had... Um, I had all kinds of problems. I had digestive problems. I used to hate to go to the restroom to, to do number two because I would be in so much pain before, after, and during. I would felt like they were stabbing me, you know. I had so much problems. My stomach used to stick out way over here. My stomach, I could never do this right here. And my stomach would stick way over here all the time, you know. I was really messed up, guys. I was really messed up. There was times where I would go to sleep. The next day, I really didn't want to get up. I really didn't want to get up. Nothing could get me off the bed. You know, I want and, and the good thing about me being a DJ is I was looking forward to somebody's quinceanera or somebody's wedding or, or, or something like that, you know. And, um, you know, Jordan, I'm doing a video, Jordan. Y'all can't be loud. I got a new office, guys. I don't know if y'all noticed my new office. This is my new office. Actually, this is my sunlight coming from my office right here. Um, so I don't got no light on. This is just my sunlight. And I got a new office. And the thing is, I haven't got my door on here, you know, due to the COVID virus. Uh, somebody got sick that was supposed to put my door on. They're bringing me a barn door. And uh, they're going to be bringing it on soon. So that's more important, you know, than my door. But right now, if y'all hear my kids, it's because my door is open. But I'm getting a barn door over here. I got a beautiful office. You know, I, I want to show it to y'all, but I can't, I can't turn the camera around. You know what? I, I think I can. Um, no, well, then I, I'll show it to y'all later, though. But. Shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, man. You know, I, I'm doing the DJing tonight. You know, I was doing it yesterday. It was an awesome turnout. I'm going to do it tonight uh, live for everybody, you know, wants to jam out to some music. Let me know. But back to the keto lifestyle, man. Back to the keto lifestyle. I appreciate y'all on here. And um, so the biggest question is, do you want to have a fixed mindset or do you want to have a growth mindset? That's just it. So that's the difference. A fixed mindset is something that you might surrender to. You might say, you know what, I'll do it for a little bit and everything. A growth means that you want to keep on growing, that you're going to keep on growing no matter what, that you're going to keep on doing it. You're going to, you know, I mean, look at me. At first, I was thinking, man, I can't do the keto. What is keto? I didn't even know what keto was. I remember my sister told me about keto. And I was like, man, I can't even do Doritos. What is keto? What are you talking about? You know, and all I was actually doing was already eating right. You know, and then as I started doing keto, man, I fell in love with this. I'm like, golly, I fell in love with the fact that now I don't got no more problems. I don't got headaches. I don't even know what a slight headache feels like. Listen to what I'm telling you. I do not even know what a slight headache feels like. That's crazy. That that's when I used to wake up every day and have migraines. I would have migraines. I hated it. I hated having headaches all the time, looking for aspirin. That's what my life was about, walking to one room to another room, looking for aspirin. And it wasn't just that. Then I was taking extra strength Pepto-Bismol, extra strength Melanta, whatever you could think of that would heal my stomach, I was taking. I was taking so much pain. And then I was taking the pills. I was taking the pills because Lord knows I didn't know what was going to make me feel good. And then I was eating bad. Then I was eating bad. Then I was eating the big old bowls of the cereal and adding more sugar to it and bananas and, and all that terrible fruit. And, and, and I was doing a lot of bad things to my body, you know. Today, today, oh, no. Today, I feel amazing, amazing, and I'm not bragging. I'm actually just happy where I'm at, and I want you to be there. I want you to be there. There's people out there right now that are blaming the COVID for gaining weight, right? There is. I probably even gained a few pounds, right? But I'm good because I still do not eat sugar. 
I still do not eat sugar. I still don't have no health problems. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. Why? Because I set my mind to it. Because I set my mind to it and I grow from it. I grow from it, guys. This is awesome. Did you ever think that I would have my own bakery shipping all around the United States? Did I, did I ever think I was going to be a coach, did, an intimate fasting coach and having my YouTube channel and helping so much people? If you told me three years ago, free, you're going to be there, I would have thought you were crazy. I'm like, man, <laughs> who, me? Me, the DJ? Nah, nah, you, there's no way. There's no way. I love food too much. There's no way. But there is a way. But there is a way. You set your mind up for whatever you want to accomplish. The keto lifestyle. This is a lot of things it does. These are the benefits from it. You start using your fat for fuel. That's why you start dropping weight. And it don't stop there. Your brain starts functioning different. I mean, totally different. It, it's, it's so weird how to even explain that to you until you're into that, until you're there. But I'm not saying you're not smart now, but I'm just saying it's just way different, guys. It's way different. You think so, so different about everything because now your brain is functioning the way it's supposed to be. You know, it's going, it's going, you know. Hey, do y'all have any questions? Do y'all have any questions out there? Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, okay. So that's one question they tell me all the time. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? So they say, is Goji... Uh, goalie is goalie same as apple cider vinegar and i'm gonna give you my honest honest proven opinion no it's not no it's not because you have to take at least i would say you have to take at least about 10 or 15 of those little things to get a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar you know apple cider vinegar is amazing and there we go again. Some people can't take the taste of the apple cider vinegar. For instance, my wife, my wife. But guess what? She's taking the apple cider vinegar now. She's taking it now. She gave it a chance. She's okay with it. It's not, I'm not telling you to take your apple cider vinegar just by itself. You just got to dress it up a little bit. But when you dress it up, make sure you dress it up to what's going to help you in any, many kind of ways. So I tell people, take the apple cider vinegar, take, let me see if I can remember, say, take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is me. This is what I invented. This is what I came up. This is my drink that I tell people to take. So I take two, take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Take one fourth of a teaspoon of um, MCT oil, MCT oil, which is straight up pure coconut oil, right? And it goes straight to your liver, which is amazing, right? So then I tell them, take one-fourth of a teaspoon of, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, term termic, termic. And then you're going to take one-fourth of a teaspoon of ginger, one-fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne, and one-fourth of a teaspoon uh, of, of some lemon, some fresh lemon juice or just some lemon. And um, the re eight ounces of water. Let me see if I got that right. Oh, and make sure you twist some pink salt on it because you want to get all the, the minerals and the benefits from it. If you do that, man, you don't know how good you're going to make yourself feel. So it's not just about being a keto coach for me. It's more about growth. It's more about mindset. It's more about Knowing that sugar is the devil, because that's what it is. That's what it is. I don't care what you say. I don't care who says what. Sugar is the devil. You know, it, it destroys the inside of you and it destroys the outside of you. Sugar is the devil. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Because it'll destroy the inside of you and destroy the outside of you. How many times? Who? Who? on here because i know there's more people on here i know everyone has lost somebody through diabetes or everyone lost somebody through high blood pressure or through a heart attack or through heart disease or something because we all lose somebody i lost my dad in 95 so we all lose someone through something why do you think we're losing people 
so often. And I'm not saying I'm God, so I know exactly when you're going to die or, when, you know, when, when God got ready for you. But what I'm saying is why rush it? Why rush? You know, um, a few years, three years ago, if you would have said free, are you going to see your kids graduate? I would have straight up told you, nah, no, I doubt it. I hope I pray to God I'm here, but I, I definitely doubt it. But now when you tell me, yes, hell yes, hell yes. You know, if God gives me the willing, definitely I'm going to see them graduate, you know, because here I am 49 years old, 49 guys. And before you know it, I'll be 50 in January coming up was like six months, seven months, whatever it is. Right. And I'm good. I feel amazing. I look amazing. I think amazing and everything. But I had to get myself there. I had to get myself there. I had to grow. I had to grow from everything I was going through. You know, sometimes we're selfish. Sometimes we worry about just us. Sometimes we want people to feel sorry for us. We want, oh, pobrecito, oh, you know what? I can't breathe, you know. Well, you can't breathe because you can't eat right, because you're not eating the right food, because you don't want to take the attempt to change your mind, because you don't want to grow from it, because you don't want to do the keto lifestyle, because you think that you don't want to change because change is too hard for you. That's why you can't breathe. Or you got the other ones, oh, man, I got high blood pressure. Why? Guess what? I had high blood pressure. Why? Because I wasn't taking care of myself because I wasn't doing this. Another thing, another thing is, you know, before I go any further, let me go ahead and put this on real quick. Um, let me see. Attention, my advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Let's begin the show. There we go. I'm not a doctor. But what are doctors doing for you? And this is going to be on my book. But what are doctors doing for you? What are they doing for you? Taking your money. That's what they're doing. They're taking your money. They're taking all your money. They want to keep on seeing you. Why? Because doctors do not take care of the disease. They do not take care of the problem. They take care of your symptoms. So you could be better and then you can go home and guess what? You got another visit to the doctor. What does a doctor tell you? No matter how good you feel, they write you, well, we want to see you again on this day. Why do you think? Maybe, maybe because they got to pay their Corvette, maybe because they got to pay their their house. Maybe think about it. Think about it, guys. Doctors did not help me. Doctors did not help me. If anything, doctors were not going to help me ever because when I was type two diabetic, doctors was giving me sugar over sugar. That's what they were doing. And they were ready. They were ready. They were ready to give me insulin. They were so close to ready to give me insulin. And we intend to do that. It's a cycle. When we keep on doing it, we get this insulin. Guess what happens when you get insulin? You start getting this insulin. They give you stronger insulin. When they give you stronger insulin, guess what happens? Now, you're, now it hits your sight. Now you cannot see. Hits your teeth. Now you got messed up teeth. Hits your health. Now you got body parts chopped off because now you have to worry about gangrene. Think about it. You think a doctor helped me? Hell no. Definitely not. You know who helped me? God helped me. You know who helped me? I helped me. That's who helped me. I hate to be all over the place, but I get excited, you know. Um, the thing is, guys, you are the only one that can change. You change your mind. You change your mind. Not no one else. Not no one else. There's people out there, and I'm not got nothing against it. But there's people out there that can afford the operation, that can do this, that can get the bypass or can get the sleeve or get whatever they want, right? But when are you going to help yourself? You could do that, and that's going to help you for such a short time because why? You haven't learned how to eat yet. You haven't learned that this is not good for you, that this is not good for you, that this is not good for you. You haven't learned that yet. You know, you haven't learned that yet. So even if you get an operation and done at that, you still got to get your mindset and don't get your mindset. Don't get a fixed mindset. Get you a growth mindset. Grow from all your mistakes. Grow from what you were doing wrong. Grow from that. God gives you another chance. So if God gives you another chance and you were able to afford that operation, then guess what? 
Now you got to grow from it. Get your mindset. You know what? I don't need that. You know what? Here goes some rice. But you know what? I seen Freeze video last time and he would, man, it looks so good. So now we're going to go ahead and make it out of cauliflower rice. You know what? Oh, man, you know what? I, I, I want some bread. But you know what? I seen Freeze video last time and he was showing us some bread that we can buy that only has three net carbs, you know? And that's, that's where you want to be at. You want to grow from it, guys. You want to grow from it. Are y'all enjoying the show? Let me know if y'all enjoying the show. Let me know. Give me some emojis. Give me something, guys. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keto is Life TV, guys. I do this for a reason. And the reason why I do this is because God has blessed me and I want to bless others. I know I can't touch everybody. But guess what? The ones I can touch, I'm going to change their lives, guys. And it's not just me that's going to change your life. You're going to change your life, guys. I want to motivate you. I want to push you and tell you, you know what? I have been there. I have been there. How many times you want somebody to tell you, hey, you know what? I'm going to change your life, but they've never been there. They do not know what it feels like to have a food problem. They don't know what it feels like to have digestive problems. They don't know what it feels like to be taking all this medication. They don't know what it feels like to not fit into this, not, not fit into that. They don't know what it feels like to be sick. They have no idea what they know. They don't know. They don't know, right? But guess what? I have been there. I got proof. I got proven facts. Go look at all my pictures. Go look at me back in three years ago. Go check me out. I am real. I show facts. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this show, man. Thank y'all. Um, I was really trying to come on TikTok, man. I got 10,000 followers over there, guys. Awesome. Appreciate y'all. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. Do you have any questions, man? Happy 4th of July, everybody. And tonight, if you want to do the keto lifestyle, don't hesitate don't procrastinate and don't say I'm going to do it on Monday or I'm going to do it on Tuesday. And if you are going to say that, do it then. Do it then. And if you tried to keto lifestyle, that didn't work for you. Maybe because you didn't have a good coach. Maybe because you had nobody to believe in yourself. Or maybe you weren't believing in yourself the way you were supposed to be believing in yourself. And the bottom line is maybe your mind wasn't set right. So guess what, guys? The, the fact about this is now, now you can go back and... You can and you can go back and you can do your thing. You know, I was really trying, really trying to get on TikTok, man. I really trying to get on TikTok, do it live, but I couldn't do it live, guys. Make sure you go see my YouTube channel right now. Mindset on keto, fixed mindset versus growth mindset, guys. This was coming from your keto coach. I appreciate y'all. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and send that real quick. Happy 4th of July. Yes, and y'all can join me right now. You know, I'm about to get in the mix later on tonight. Appreciate you guys. Thank y'all. Remember, if I can help you any kind of way, reach out to me. 832-715-2557. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned from this. Remember, guys, growth mindset is way better than a fixed mindset. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. To the next video. Sugar is the devil. Keto is Life TV